it looks like somebody has a very long, 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 long wait ahead of them, boo, because somebody is sitting around waiting for you to chase after them, to beg them, to plead with them. You get what I'm saying? To come for them, apologize. They waiting for you to put in some energy, some effort, some time, right? But the thing is, you're not going to be doing that, okay? You're not going to be chasing after anybody. You're not going to be apologizing. You're not going to be running after them. None of that because you got better things to do with your life, first of all, right? Second of all, you practice in self-love. And third of all, you know that if you chase after this person, all it's going to do is give them the ego boost that they're looking for, right? And then they're going to continue acting up the way they always do. So it will be a cold day in hell, all right, before you sit there and chase after this individual baby because you don't have time for the tomfoolery, the nonsense. You're not Sonic the Hedgehog. You're not sitting here ready to play games, play count and mouse, hide and seek. You don't have time for any of this. You like if you want to run, then buy, okay? You like if you want to go, then go ahead and go, but I'm not going to sit here and chase after you when you the one who was acting up in the first place, okay? Welcome to another collective with me. Let's see what's really going on, Spirit. Tell us more here. Tell us more. Look, see, it looked like this is something here. Spirit has said that this person is going to be extremely shocked that you're not chasing after them. They feel heartbroken that you're not chasing after them. They feeling stabbed in the back because you're not chasing after them. Okay, they feeling pain and angst here. And so they're very shocked, all right? Something in them told them that you was going to be putting in this energy, this effort, this chase, right? And so as soon as you don't, it's like they have to deal with the fact that one, they were wrong, and two, that they really messed up, and three, you not coming after them, so they lost you. It's like there's a lot of energy here where they're having this epiphany that things aren't really going the way that they thought it would really go. But at the same time, this person is very much missing you and having all this nostalgia and all these memories, but they so much in their pride and ego, instead of just coming towards you and saying, you know, I miss you and, and apologizing to you, saying, you know, I, 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 I messed up or let's fix things or I miss you or I want to talk to you. They don't want to do that. They want to be prideful and wait for you to do it. But while they waiting for you to do it, now they feeling stabbed in the back, really? Okay? It's like it's a two-way street, baby. If you want to contact me, feel free. Now, unless you blocked them, then they really tripping if they thought you was going to chase them and you blocked them. Like, they really got a rude awakening waiting for them, okay? But this is very shocking to this person that you're not coming in pursuit because they absolutely just bet on it. They just absolutely knew it. Now, this could be because you've, you know, been the one to give in in the past. It could be just because they have an inflated ego because maybe they've dealt with a lot of people that give in and chase after whatever. But either which way, they had the wrong one today here. Okay. Yeah, see, Spirit is saying that this person is thinking about how much happiness you brought to them. This is what makes this person off they rocker, okay? Because they're thinking about all these good times and good things, but they want to act like a hard ass at the same time and not act on it and expect you to chase after them? What? That's the thing, because if you're offering all these good times and good things, that means that you don't have time to play games. That means you're not the one to be played with because you bring value to the situation. And that's what this person is not understanding. When somebody brings value, you can't play with them because they, they get tired of games, okay? No one has time for it. So it's saying that this person is really wishing for more security and growth in this connection, okay? They want a sense of playfulness and happiness with you. That that they, They're realizing here that everything was really good. Mm, okay, so why won't they sit here and take some action then? What, what's really good here? Ah, oh, this is what I'm talking about. They sad about the separation once again, but they don't want to take action. We're going to pull some tarot cards. Sadness, thinking about you, missing you, yearning. It's like, okay, but are you going to say something? Because if you just going to sit around and wait for somebody to chase you, then you're off your rocker. Tell us more about this individual that feels like the collective needs to chase after them to make amends here. What's up with this person? Why won't they take some steps towards making amends? 
See, this person will sit there indecisively and just hold things stuck, okay? But why are they holding things stuck? What, what's going on? What's making them... This person wants... See, this person wants to feel like you're the one who's, like, the one who's feeling abandoned here, okay? There's something here where I kind of hate to say it, but this person wants to kind of trigger some abandonment within you. Yeah. See, they figure like if they trigger some abandonment here within you, then when it comes to the lovers, I ain't going to show all that because I don't want to get dinged, honey. But when it comes to the lovers, honey, okay, they, then they feel like you're going to be the one willing to put in the work. You're going to be putting in the work. So there's something here where this is some sort of bad trait that they picked up somewhere, technique here. I don't know if it's consciously or subconsciously, but they feel like if they kind of just abandon the situation then you will be triggered to put in the work and try to fix things here but it's not going to be happening this is all they triggering for themselves more heartbreak and separation this is the only thing they are triggering for themselves a three of swords they are going to continue to feel like it's stormy days they're going to continue to feel pressed they're going to continue to feel worried and nostalgic and wishing that things were better but then acting too much like a chump to actually step up to the plate and do something to fix the situation, which people like that really work my last nerves. They grind my gear, baby. Okay, tell us more here about this individual. See, they want you to have, they want you to come with this offering with the Six of Cups, okay? They want you to be the bigger person. You see this? Because you see how this Six of Cups, this person actually looks taller and bigger than this person, right? So I heard they want you to be the bigger person. Say, what? You're like, I am being the bigger person by leaving you alone, okay? That's the thing. For some reason, they think you chasing after them is being the bigger person. Okay, so why is it that this person thinks that the collective would even want them while they're acting petty and childish. Why would they think they would even want them while they're acting petty and childish? That's something that they need to, <laughs> that's something they need to think about. Okay. All right. They're not even thinking about it. Okay. All they're thinking about is how to get this happy ending that they want, getting things to move forward and what they feel is justice. Okay. But their justice is a page of swords, baby. They're acting childish. They get justice here in this way here, playing games, playing some sort of mind games and all this other stuff. Ain't nobody got time for it here. Okay, so what can we expect from this person? What are they going to do here, Spirit? Nine times out of ten, what kind of actions can we expect? What are they going to do here? They still holding on to you for sure with this four of pentacles, okay? They definitely holding on to you in the connection here. Okay, tell us more. They want a new start. So it looks like eventually, if you don't chase after them, they will be coming towards you with the Ace of Cups. They're holding on to the fact that there is supposed to be some sort of new start here, some sort of emotional new start between you. Yeah, the Empress, okay? So this person is hoping that you chase after them, but once you don't come into pursuit, it's going to take them some time to think about it. They're really going to want to hold on to the connection. And then they are going to come towards you here, okay? Is this person coming to play games or coming to get their act right? Tell us the reason for them coming forward because we need to know. What is what is their motives? What is their motives? Well, they feel like you bringing a lot of value to the table. Okay, what else is going on here? We got here the three of wands. Hermit. Mm. Four swords, look. <laughs> Spirit is saying here that they're going to come towards you, but by the time they do, you're going to be sick and tired of them because they see you as somebody that has worth, but you also see yourself as somebody that has worth. And so they're saying that this person is being too patient. They're waiting very far out in the future here to finally say something after, after um, you didn't chase after them. And they're saying by the time that happens, this is you, Hermit and a Four of Swords, when they come with a page of cups. Because then all of a sudden they come up with new ideas and all that. But by this point, you've already changed, you've already turned your back. Okay? You like, you know what? I've already waited long enough for your behind. I don't even want your little cups and I'm going in the opposite direction. Right? So there's something here where Spirit is saying nine times out of ten, this might not be for everybody, right? So you gotta take what resonates. You're not going to really be interested in talking to them by the time they come forward 
or you're not going to be interested in what they have to say. Now, that don't mean that later on y'all might not have a conversation, but at initially, it looks like you're not really interested, just like you ain't interested in chasing them in the first place. You can like, share, comment, subscribe, follow all of that good stuff. If you want to leave a donation or book with me, you can do that linked below in the comments or the description box. If you want to check out my cute angel number t-shirts, that's also linked below under merch, my website. I'm going to talk to you later, boo. Bye.